we are going to show you how to make this cute DIY macrame hanger. This is my friend Mella. Hi guys, this is Mella here. She has made a DIY macrame hanger before. She went off of Emily Faith's design and we just loved her simple design that she created and we decided to recreate this. I will be linking Emily Faith's video down in the description below, the one that Mella went off of. I didn't see that video. I actually just went off of everything Mella told me just now. The only thing I have made in the past with macrame is two wall hangings. So I have made this large one. It used to be over my couch and then I made this much smaller one. The same thing. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Here's what you'll need. So these are from Amazon and these are giant macrame rolls. It's way more cost effective to buy them on Amazon because these are so large. This is from Michaels and these are just wooden beads. There's three to four different sizes in here. These are wooden rings from Walmart and then you'll need a tape measure in order to measure out your string and then some scissors and that's it. So this is a 3M hook that we put on the wall just for filming purposes. I mean, you could really do this anywhere. Like, where were you doing it before? I used a hanger and hooked it on the back of my chair. <laughs> so you can do anything like that. You don't have to randomly stick a 3M hook on the wall like we did. Then we have this wooden ring. This is macrame string that we cut. There's six of them and we cut it 10 foot long. Then we have two additional strings here. They're going to be for both of our gathering knots. We'll cut it down to the right size. These ones here are about four feet long each. There's two of them. We'll use one at the top of our macrame and then one at the bottom. <laughs> we have this, right? Yes. <laughs> so we're okay. going to take the six strings and we're going to kind of find its halfway point and line them up at the bottom. It doesn't have to be precise or anything. Okay. It looks cuter at the end too. We're just going to take all six of them and tie them through the loop here. And then we're just going to pull all the way down, pulling and then match them up. Now we have the string pulled in through the ringlet here and I like to flatten out the pieces. This just makes it look a little bit nicer. We're going to do our gathering knot. So we're going to grab that extra string that's four feet long. So you have your string here. We're going to loop it up like this. Leave like maybe do like a two to three inches. We're going to put it on top of our rope here, the six macrame strings. Hold pressure here at the top and we're going to slowly wrap it around. I'm just leave a little bit extra out. And then we're just going to pull this around nice and tight. Not too tight because I've noticed it's hard to pull the string through at the end of the gathering knot. And then bring it around. Do you want to go ahead and take over? Yeah. And see if you can. Okay. She started it and I'm just going to keep going around. And then you can decide how long you want it. I think that's good. Okay. So we're going to cut off the excess of that string right now. Alright. So since there's so much extra, I'm just going to cut it just like right about here. Cut. There we go. Okay. So you're going to wrap it around one last time. So the loop is like this. Okay. You're going to put it in through the top part of the loop. Through the top part of the loop like this. Okay. Yep. And now what you're going to do is hold on to this string here. Okay. Make sure to hold off like to the side okay. and we're going to pull this one up. And it's going to pull this string cool. that she's holding all the way inside and hide it in there. You can always just cut off the excess. Cute! So that is how you do the gathering knot. Get as close as you can to it because you're going to want to kind of tuck it in. I actually use the tip of the scissors just to gently put it in, but you, that might be a little more dangerous. So do this at your own risk. <laughs> Done. I always just flip it over and this is the front side. So we're going to split this off. Four strings separated times three. So we're going to do four strings on one side and try to pick the strings that are closest oh. together. They're going to be essentially their own line to hold up the pot. They're all separated into groups of four. All right. So we're going to start with our square knot. I would take this end piece over here and make a four right over it and take this one and go under, under and, and under. then over yeah, this yeah, you're right, you're right. and then back under. That way when you pull it up, it goes through it like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you do the opposite way. So yeah. a backwards four like this. You keep these two pieces separate and then this piece goes over this end of the string and then back under the two. Then you pull it up. I'm going to do that same thing again. So these two pieces, it's anchoring down everything. Doing a four, taking this end piece, coming under, and then pulling it straight up. That's half of one. And then I'm going to pull it tight at the top, finish off that square knot. I'm doing the opposite side. 
Pulling it up again. The first video of a macrame that I've watched, they were going really, really fast. You can just slow down the video. So that's two square knots, and I'm going to keep doing this. Having the hook here is really helpful. When I was just doing the wall hangings, I was sitting on the floor and holding the branch with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen people use books and all kinds of things yeah. to hold it still. Again, if I'm going too fast, you can just slow it down. Five. So there's five here. Going on my sixth. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You want to do ten? And I wasn't paying attention and I actually went to ten, so that's what we're going to go with. We're going to do ten on the other string. She's going to do another grouping, I'm going to do another grouping, and by working together, we'll get this done a lot faster. We're just going to continue the same thing. Four on this side and four on that side, and we're going to continue with our square knots. It's easier once you have the beginning part done, and then yeah. it kind of holds it steady. So we did the three groupings, and this length we're going to leave open, and then we're going to start it again. But then when we start it again, we're going to do four square knots, add the wooden bead, and then another four square knot. This space down here, mm -hmm. and then yeah, we'll start it again. Start it. Yeah. So I'm going to do four square knots. I'm going to move on to the next grouping and do the same thing as I did here with the four square knots. So I'm going to leave this amount of space down here. I'm just going to do my best to try to line it up. So I have one square knot going forward down and doing the same thing for that side so they're all lined up. So I did two there, I'm going to do two more and then I'll come back when we put on the beads. Okay guys, so we're going to be putting on the uh, wooden bead, it's going to go on the string here. You can honestly pick either one of these strings or if it happens to fit both strings into the bead, that's even better. Ours only fits one string so we're just going to just pick one of these middle ones. Something you might want to do if you do want to put both strings through is to drill the center. I have some medical tape here because I use medical tape for everything. <laughs> I'm going to tape the bottom of the string and hopefully be able to pull the bead through. In the past I've used packaging tape you can use just regular scotch tape anything really works to be honest you don't need medical tape but yeah I just we just always have it on hand <laughs> it's coming <laughs> through wait it works see it success yay <laughs> right Here. in the center okay so then we do the same thing again these two in the middle are our anchors I guess mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna do the four again, starting over. I'm gonna... And for this string that's extra here, if you wanna just kinda tuck it away, push it towards the back, so and then that way it looks like just the two is on the side. It looks cuter that way. Perfect, and then I'm... we've done one square knot here, and because the center ones are longer than the out ones, the outer ones are very short, because that's the ones we've been using to do the square knot, we're gonna go ahead and try switching it. So we're gonna just go like that, bring the, two inner ones out towards the back so that way we can start working with the longer pieces so we don't run out of string yeah it's gonna be a little awkward to start maybe it was a good idea to randomly switch lower and instead of starting mm -hmm. something to switch yeah because yeah, i mean you can't you can, really tell kind of but not really so that's two and then i'm just going to continue the process in the video you watched you followed it exactly the first time and she did the switch up here right yeah she did it up here which is fine and it looks good but you can see somewhere around here where the string loops into the front so it looks a little more noticeable, it's I like feel like twisting. this is a little bit more hidden. You can't really even tell. Yeah, it's hidden by the ball. So I think I like this method. We should remember where we did it. <laughs> so we did one square knot and then we switch and then continued as normal. You can see right there that the ball is in the middle of them. So we're going to do the same thing with the two other ones and also do that same switch thing after doing one square knot after adding the bead in. Mela already has the bead on this. So just as we showed earlier. So we'll put it up. We're going to do one square knot using the two shorter strings still. So after the one, we're doing the switch. Take the two shorter strings that we have here we've been using the entire time and putting it into the middle and pulling the two longer strings outward. The two shorter strings are now the anchor. Just try to do a normal square knot from there. We did all of these square knots. and they're all still separated. So in order to join them together, we're gonna have these two pieces together. We're gonna take the four pieces that are next to each other. So it's gonna join together 
like this. These two in the middle are now the anchoring pieces. We're gonna work with these two outer pieces to make the square knot. So then the distance down, we're gonna do the same thing as before. I've already connected these two pieces together so you could see that, but these two are gonna be connected, these two are gonna be connected. We already did these two for the next square knot, and then there is just one section left to join these two sections together. Use these two strings as the anchor, and start the square knot down here. Okay, that's one, that's two. Let's grab the pot and just take a look at it. It's gonna go in there and then we'll just kind of gather it together. I think right there's kind of cute. That's cute, I like that. So I'm gonna let you take the pot out. I'm gonna hold it still here, this okay. place. And you can see one kind of all even, so I guess right about here. And we'll do our gathering knot. So we're just taking this string here and we're going to loop it up like this. It doesn't have to be very long, it just depends on like the look that you wanna do, maybe two inches or so. And then we're gonna put it on the area where we're pinching, and then we're just gonna slowly start wrapping it around. Almost done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> <laughs> you like to go the extra. Put this one through the top. I can hold it. For Pull our little friend out from there. <laughs> Yay! It's oh, so, so cute. cute. I'm just figuring out how long I want the bottom part. I'm not really sure yet. Okay. I'm just going to unravel the ends. You don't have to do this part. We unraveled most of it, and now I'm going to do some random chops. Like cutting hair. I'm just, Disclosure. I'm just winging She's it. She's not a licensed hair. <laughs> I'm definitely not. Right. That's cute. That's perfect. Here is the final product. It's so cute. I put the string of hearts in it and this planter is from Walmart. Don't mind the nursery pot sticking out of it. Thank you so much to Mela for helping me out with this. Yeah, no problem. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Aww. You guys should check out Mela. She just started an Instagram, so I'll link her down below. That is it. Thanks for watching. Bye. This right here is six, 10 foot, this is the maximum. <laughs> we did the three group rings. Oh, did I say grouping weird? <laughs> the same. <laughs>